And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again another day committed to picking a fight with the mainstream media and providing you the timely truth centered around real estate, credit, finance, estate planning, tax planning, and so much more. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show. And our number one goals are to educate, entertain, enlighten. But we definitely want to engage you to help you win in any marketplace. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. Helping you avoid a lot of that commission-based advice that's so prevalent in our community. Uh, making you just a bit more street smart here. We don't care if you're climbing a corporate ladder or if you throw a ladder in your truck on the way to work. This show's for you. We're going to help you win. And uh, we've got an all-star lineup for you today. Uh, we've got also coming up in our top 10, we got the top 10 largest states by area, not population in our our, uh, guessing game. We also have our uh, feel-good story of the week. Vegas shooting survivor says Marine she met at concert saved her life uh, in a feel-good story. And we also have our Name That Tune uh, segment coming up in the show, later in the show. Uh, But let's go around the horn now, make our introductions. Back in studio, Mario Larea, MI Mutual Mortgage. Welcome in. Hey, good to be here. Um, So what what uh, genre are we doing here for this uh, the name music? That tune? Uh, yeah. The name that tune is going to be One Hit Wonders. Ah, okay. Oh. That should be yeah. pretty easy, I would yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. Popular songs yesterday. Uh, yesterday's show, by the way, it had Tainted Love uh, from Soft Cell. It had Who Let the Dogs Out from the Baja <laughs> Men, and it had Take Me On, so kind of give you an idea. Cool, cool. Yeah. Well, I'll be talking about, uh, you know, real estate and uh, mortgage, uh, what's going on today in, in the Tampa Bay market and nationally and stuff, so... Got some good content here, so I'm glad to be in again. Awesome. Yep, thanks for coming in. Jason Avery back in the house as well. He's the owner of Avery Construction, author of Constructing Success. Welcome in, sir. Hey, man. I'm so glad to be here, Brandon. You know what? Uh, There's a lot of communication breakdown in the uh, construction world, you know, between the technicians in the field and the uh, clients they're trying to serve. And let me tell you, some of these guys are giving us a bad rap. Yeah. So uh, today we're going to talk about that. How can that communication be improved from both ends. I hope there's uh, some of those contractors, my uh, uh, my fellow boys in the field out there that I can help advise a little bit yeah. and, uh, you know, maybe help prepare some of their customers about what to expect and, you know, how to have a better experience. Yeah, absolutely. They, they you know, and, and you see that as well across all boards, you know, you see it in real estate, finance, you know, different, co- you know, problem customers, problem clients, problem vendors. Um, and it seems like I've been coming up against my uh, fair share lately. You know, <laughs> but, sometimes in life, you're going to have to just deal with a jerk. You yeah, know? that's but right. You know what? When jerks show up in the playground, you still got to play nice. And, yeah. uh, you, you know, you don't just get up and leave the playground. That's right. You, you got to figure out how to get along. That's right, man. It's out there. It's ignorance is out there. But, uh, you know, we also have a new show partner as well coming in as well. Melina Mativ, Golf to Bay Staging. She's an expert in staging your home, interior design. Uh, so we're, we're excited to have her come in. She's running a little bit late. She's going to be in here, uh, in here uh, any minute. And, and uh, we also want to give a shout out to Kipton's, the Hotel Zamora, our hotel partner on St. Pete Beach. Kipton's, the Hotel Zamora, is the first new hotel built on St. Pete Beach in decades. Spanish ancestry meets cool Mediterranean attitude. Whitewashed Mediterranean palace with expansive luxury suites with balconies overlooking the intercoastal waterway. And uh, they have the Castile restaurant on site, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You got the rooftop yoga on the weekends from the the uh, 360 lounge up top beautiful place we've had some great parties there as well and a great place to uh, live work and play is tampa bay so we want to quarterback your transactions quarterback introductions to our expert contributors here's a shout out to old old school some to remember this it's my quarterback it's my quarterback. Remember that one? <laughs> Remember T.O. on the sidelines? He was uh, he was complaining that the media was talking about, or, or they are talking about Tony Romo when he got hurt. And he said, that's my quarterback, man. My quarterback. We got we to gotta redo that clip, though. It needs to be a little bit longer. You can't really tell. <laughs> the, 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 that's my quarterback. Uh, so drama. You know, they, they put the drama. Those athletes put the drama on so they can get the, picked up by the shows and stuff, you know. But... Um, you know, helping you win in any marketplace, that's what we're going to do here. The Consumer Quarterback Show, Monday through Friday, daily drive time. 5 o'clock drive time, where your consumer advocate. Uh, all things real estate, credit, finance, legal advice, uh, things that help you win, live a better life. On the weekends, we're on 102.5 The Bone, uh, one of the largest FM stations in the state of Florida. Signal stretching all the way down to Fort Myers, Naples. Uh, so we are... 
you know, helping you win, understanding uh, things happening in the marketplace, how uh, yesterday's show, we talked about how the hurricane's affecting insurance rates, how it's going to affect premiums, uh, identity theft, prevention, recovery, a lot of ways that we can help you. So let's jump into it. Mario Larea is in the house. Now he's a local lender, support your local economy. He's a longtime veteran of the mortgage industry. So uh, what are you seeing out there? Um, things are still going good. Rates have bumped up just a little bit right now, but you know, they're still extremely, extremely low. So again, it's a, it's a great time to buy it. Also a great time to sell because yeah. there's just not that many houses out there. So, you know, all in all, everything is, is going pretty strong. They're continuing to loosen up guidelines a little bit. So, you know, everything's going in, in our favor right now. I mean, it, we had some uh, tough years, a few years back, and uh, now kind of with the new administration, you're not seeing as many uh, regulations and new things coming up to, to kind of slow and hinder the process. So it's been uh, it's been going good. How, how has the new administration affected, you know, the industry, do you think? Um, mainly what we're kind of seeing is not so much as pulling things back, but you're just not seeing a lot, like continuously we were getting – new um new hoops to jump through and right. new hurdles to 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 get over and you're just not seeing that as much anymore so it's not really so much as the uh re relieving some of the the things that they were doing but you're just not getting as much going on um but you know fannie mae freddie mac they they are uh you know they've been loosening guidelines a little bit i mean nothing major so you know the good news is is it, you're not going to see a fallout like we had years back with the mortgage crisis back then where, you know, they were basically giving anybody with a pulse a mortgage. Um, right. You know, you still have to qualify for mortgages. There there was some restraints on them that were a little bit overdone, in my opinion. But, you know, now you're not seeing as much of that. But, you know, still, it's it's a process getting qualified. You have to have money. You have to have good, decent credit. Um, you know, you have to have income, which is the main one. Um, you know, the money you can get around in a lot of cases, we have uh, down payment assistance programs where, I mean, you literally can come in with basically nothing, um, mm -hmm. pay your appraisal, pay your home inspections, and, you know, basically that's about it. Um, you know, VA is the same way, USDA pretty much the same way too. You can have your, the sellers pay the closing costs. I've, I've literally had VA people come in. Um, and actually get a refund at the table for their deposit. So, wow. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a good time to buy. There's a lot of programs out there. You definitely don't need to put 20% down. I, I get that a lot, you know, conventional, you can go as low as 3%, FHA, three and a half percent. So a um, lot of things out there, that, you know, available for people looking to buy. Yeah, and, it, and it's a, uh, you know, like you said before, kind of leading in, it's a great time to sell and it's a great time to buy. On the selling side, you, and, and some people might say, well, how can that be, Brandon? Uh, you know, I, if it's a great time to sell, how can it be a great time to buy? Well, you know, mortgage rates are still low. They're at a 40, 50 year low. Uh, there is a lack of inventory. So that's all the more reason that you want to be prepared. Uh, so let's talk about that process. Uh, we're talking with Mario Larea here, uh, mortgage expert in Tampa Bay, MI Mutual Mortgage. So when you think about the the ability to, uh, get pre-approved and how to how to differentiate yourself when you're looking to buy in a highly competitive market you know what are some steps that people can take well first off if you're even thinking about it get pre-approved um because you know you may go out there and there's a few things that could happen without getting pre-approved number one you may not be able to qualify right um so you if you can't, we can come up with a game plan for you. I can tell you steps to do to maybe, you know, a few months from now, you'll be able to do it, but you don't wanna get your heart set on a property, go make an offer, come back to somebody for a mortgage, and then you can't, uh, for, you know, you can't get approved for it for the next few months because you need to fix a few things. Other thing with that too is, being that there's not that many houses for sale and there's so many people trying to purchase, if uh, somebody else, you know, there's a lot of cases where there's multiple offers at the same time. Right. So you're running into, I don't have a pre-approval letter, but these other people do. They're not going to take you serious. You know, the sellers aren't going to take you seriously and take your, you know, accept yeah, your offer. They won't even look at it. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times it's not even worth going out and seeing the property. I mean, you probably see this all the time. You go out and, you know, that same day there's multiple offers on it. So, you yeah. know, if you don't have that letter, it could take, you know... Most of the time I can get a pre-approval letter that same day, but in some cases it'll take me a day or so, you know, with self-employed people or, right. or there's, you know, um, like commission-based income where it's, yep. it's kind of a variable type. I have to see a little bit more documentation. So 
you know, it could take you a day or two before you could actually even make that offer, and that house may be gone by then. Yeah, and you're, and you're not wasting people's time as well. You're, yeah. you're driving out there, wasting the realtor's time, wasting people's time. I mean, you're and wasting the, your own time, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Literally wasting your time. I, so, I know some of those commission people he's talking about where they've got 100000 worth of income annually, but they reported twenty. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The old catch-22 when it comes to, you know, you, you might try to save a little bit of money in terms of what you're paying Uncle Sam, but when it comes to reporting to be able to qualify for the home, the, the you know, the investment, you're looking to do uh and and just a quick word as well you know i see it seems like every year turn there's commission-based advice and there's also uh just people just flat out lying saying there's no closing cost we're going to pay all your cost uh, you know how does this break down when it in reality where, where it hits the real world it you know, you're paying it one way or another. So, right. you know, like what I was mentioning before with uh, like down payment assistance, that's a little different. I mean, that's that's grant money that's coming in. So, you know, it's not that like the mortgage company is paying your uh, saying, hey, we're going to pay all your closing costs for you. The mortgage company is paying all your closing costs for you. You're paying paying for it through the interest rate. You're definitely going to end up that's with right. a higher rate. Um, you know, a lot of these uh, down payment assistance it goes for people who actually need the money. Right. So that doesn't really apply in all cases. I mean, if you have a hundred thousand dollars sitting in the bank, you're not getting your down payment and closing costs paid. I mean, you right. don't need it. Right. So, you know, in, in most cases though, you know, if the lender's saying like, like I can pick up some closing costs for people, um, but you're going to see the difference. I'll show you, Hey, this is what it looks like without me paying anything. This is what it looks like with you buying your rate down this is what it looks like with me paying down you know buying down some of your costs it's going to affect the interest rate that it just like anybody else who says right. that you're you know there there's no closing cost loans there's no such thing i mean you have taxes you have title i, I think i had read that there's something like 25 people in each mortgage tra real estate purchase transaction right. so these people aren't all doing it for free. That's right. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of shuffling of paperwork that yeah. goes through, and and uh, you know people have that's their career. That's what they do for a living. So uh, we want to help you win in any marketplace. Consumer quarterback show. Uh, Brandon Rhymes here in studio with Mario Larea, MI Mutual Mortgage. Coming up as well, Jason Avery, Avery Construction, author of Constructing Success as well. And later in the show, we're expecting Melina Mativ coming in from Gulf to Bay Staging. She's an interior design expert. And uh, more from our experts here. We got a great uh, feel good story of the week coming up up as well in our feel good segment bringing some positivity uh, to you and we get our name that tune coming up as well that's going to feature one hit wonders and uh, our top 10 list for the week as well so stay with us here consumer quarterback show we're going to help you win no matter what you're facing out there consumer quarterback show check out consumerqb.com hey everybody i'm forbes riley celebrity tv fitness host and creator of the spin gym i'm here today with brandon rhymes and you're listening to the consumer quarterback show great ways to get happy healthy and wealthy to get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372, online at ConsumerQB.com. Enjoy tranquil seclusion in an eco-lover's paradise. Paddling through the mangroves 
where the only sounds you'll hear are the sounds of nature. Because you deserve to relax on vacation, visit Pasco County, Florida. Consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, quarterback show, platinum MVP realty, 80 plus show partners now, uh, helping you win in any marketplace and uh, we want to make sure you engage with us. You've got to engage for us to be able to help you. 813-670-7372. Call or text that hotline. 813-670-7372. And uh, also check out our website, consumerqb.com. We're going to help you win uh, no matter what you're facing out there. So I've uh, got a couple of hot listings here. As you know, I'm the owner of Platinum MVP Realty. Got a hot listing out in Palm Harbor on the Inniswood Parkway, 1377 Inniswood Parkway in Palm Harbor. Now, this is an interesting property. It's got a an older structure, nice structure here, five bedrooms, two bath, over uh, 3,300 square feet. Um, however, it's also on 2.27 acres, so the highest and best use might be for a developer, a builder, someone to go in there and, and uh, develop this. Uh, and we have a, a motivated seller that can help you with some of that planning. Also, out in East County, out in Plant City, I got a two million dollar listing here at Kelly Road, five four two one Kelly Road. Plant City, three bedrooms, three baths. Now sitting on 12.89 acres, completely fenced in, and a beautiful property here over at Kelly Road in Plant City. Two million dollars. If you've got somebody in that space, we'd love to talk to them. Over 8,000 square feet here, and over 5,900 square foot heated at Kelly Road in Plant City. Two beautiful properties here in lovely Tampa Bay. All right, coming up, we got our feel good story of the week. We have our name that tune as well as our top 10 list. But right now, let's talk, uh, let's go to Jason Avery here, Avery Construction, con author of Constructing Success. And uh, yeah, man, what are you seeing out there? Well, again, you know, just as always, I hear over and over again, oh my gosh, I have this horror story about a contractor. And uh, that's, you know, where a lot of the conversations start with new prospects. So, uh, love to address that. We've got lots of contractors out there that are actually very, very good technicians, but unfortunately are lacking in the area of communication. Right. And, uh, and that's usually where things start to fall apart. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, I wrote a book all about the customer's experience. And uh, today I'll share a little bit of wisdom from that book. Perfect. You know, when you're involved in a remodeling project, you know, there's going to be lots of emotions involved. Yeah. Uh, this is your home. This is, you know, uh, you're passionate about it and uh, it's where you live. So uh, often what happens is people get excited about the idea that we could potentially be remodeling. Okay. And that drives their emotions up to a high. But as we come out and start discussing options, you know, husbands and wives don't always agree. And uh, they might have a different opinion about how much money they're going to spend. They might have a different opinion about, you know, where things should be placed. And uh, that leads to a little friction. Yeah. And that takes our emotions down to a low. 
So sometimes our representatives find themselves uh, doing a little marriage counseling. Yeah, you know? yeah. And we have to get them back to the high again, and uh, you know, get them all on the same jack of all field. trades, right? Right. Yeah. Say, hey, sit down on the couch right there. Talk to <laughs> talk to Doctor Avery. So now we, <laughs> so now we, now we've come to the point where we've you know contracted a job. We've worked it out. We know what we're going to spend and what we're going to do. But these couples have to go out and pick out colors together. They have to mm. uh, decide what what color is the paint going to be. What what style are the cabinets? Uh, what what sheet of granite will make the countertop? Uh, what faucet? What sink? What toilet? What you know tub tile for the floor? Knobs, backsplashes. Yeah, the handles and knobs. There's a million decisions that have to be made at a variety of stores, and this shopping time is taking you away from your work. It's taking you away from your family. It's creating other undue stress. Yeah. Again the husbands and wives are going to create the friction amongst themselves and, and the emotions are get back down to that low. So we, we eventually get there. We get it all picked out. Sometimes we have to do a little hand holding in that process, but the job's going to start soon. That's exciting, right? So yeah. We go high on the emotions <laughs> until day one when we've torn your home apart. Yeah. You walk in the door after work and there's a dusty mess and debris on the floor still and the guys are just starting to sweep up and, and wires are hanging out of the ceiling and your air conditioning is getting sucked out the window and you know it's just a very uncomfortable feeling where you get that reality check and you say, oh my gosh, I'm actually doing this. Yeah. So uh, quite stressful for most of the clients. Yeah, man. I could imagine, you know, doing like in the past, you've said too, they're, they're, they're uh, making their coffee in the bathroom rather than the kitchen. Oh, it's I mean, horrible. It's yeah. horrible. So, you know, it, it, again, it's that they're, they're going to make their coffee on the bathroom vanity. They're going to, you know, have to get up for their midnight snack, walk across a cold concrete floor and then lift plastic up off the refrigerator before they can even get to it. You know, yeah. again, the, the layers of dust are falling off the plastic as they go. If and, there wasn't already friction, there is going to be there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's horrible. And you've taken the whole family and cramped them up into like one little room in the house. You put them in a tighter space to live together. They can't get away from each other. That's horrible. So, uh, you know, these guys are suffering through this project. Yeah. And uh, uh, once you get a little, you know, Thing, a few things get roughed in plumbing and electric. You put some drywall up and then you texture it and you slap a coat of paint on it. Yep. That paint is a bright spot, man. It's like the color comes in. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, yeah. it's going to look like a room again. And, uh, but it takes a really long time to do the rest. You got to do yeah. floors. You got to do cabinets and countertops, reconnect all the light fixtures and the plumbing fixtures and you then get final inspections and little punch out stuff. It, it, it's a long haul permitting but, process throughout you know sometimes uh, you're waiting on permits oh uh, yeah that's on the upfront yeah that's another one of those little details but the point is is that by the time you get to the end of a project these people are done with it they're sick of remodeling it's not fun anymore we yeah. thought it was going to be fun yeah and it's going to take them a little while before they get the appreciation for what we've just created yeah exactly before they can get past the hurdles that we had to experience along the way so uh you know we've made it a practice at our company to give them that space for a couple of weeks then circle back to them and say, right. now that you've cleaned up, now that you've moved in, you know, we'd love to come back and, and see it and get some pictures for our portfolio. And at that point, we usually show up with a gift for them. You know, we, nice. we, we have something nice to, to, to change the First perspective, class. you know, get put a smile on their face again, and then ultimately capture those great testimonials. That's right. Yeah. First class with uh, Jason Avery, Avery Construction, a uh, longtime friend of the program, remodeling expert here in Tampa Bay, published author, does a great job networking out there as well. You do a lot of training uh, for uh, some of the organizations that you work with. And, uh, you know, you, you wrote the book on, on you know, construction and success and how people can can communicate because communication is such a key aspect uh, in any in any relationship, business, uh, business relationships, uh, dealing with a client. Client, uh, dealing with a, a family member, a spouse. Uh, so there's a lot of things that uh, you know you, you want to look at when it comes to that. So, uh, what other nuggets of advice would you give to folks that are thinking about they're they're thinking about redoing the kitchen, they're thinking about the bathrooms, uh, the flooring. So again, everything revolves around communication. So get into the details, mm -hmm. and uh, um, you know when a contractor comes out, if they're trying to give you everything uh, in a description with a one lump sum price. That's not good enough. And uh, you need to know what each piece and component cost along the way because things are going to change as you progress. And as they change, you know, you don't want to be sold something at retail but then credited back at cost. And uh, you want to make sure you're getting the fair trade out for whatever work is being done. And the more information you put on the table up front about what is included alongside of what is not included. Right. And uh, the clearer that picture becomes for everybody involved 
and it's certainly going to save you from some uncomfortable conversations as the as the job goes. And, and Mario, you can help out with with some of the loan programs to help people with the financing of this. Oh yeah, definitely. We have uh, several programs for rehab loans. So you know, I would recommend to, <laughs> if you're thinking about doing something when you're purchasing a home, do it up front so you don't have to go through that headache. Hopefully you can not be there through part of the process, but we can do those on purchases. You may have, you know, usually when we close, we have 45, 60 days until the mortgage payments due. So you could not live there for a month or so while they're doing some of it. You don't have to be crammed all in, you know, in one room with everybody. It'll, it'll lessen the stress. Can I you mean, take some of that money and go stay at the Ritz Carlton for a couple <laughs> weeks? Yeah, you couple could, I mean, you could do that. <laughs> Just get out of the place you're in now. You won't have any rent. You could just stay somewhere else. But I mean, it's probably better to do a lot of it when you're not there. Yeah, exactly. And kind of tying the knot between all this, Brandon, when when you're uh, faced with the the buyers and there's some deficiencies in the home you discover during a home inspection. And uh, if they're required in order to bring it up to, you know, FHA standard or something, go ahead and let those things be taken care of in advance. But anything that's voluntary, yep. don't let the seller pay for that repair. Take the discount off of the, the sale price and do it yourself because I, I'm fa- I right. get calls from sellers all the time. And let me tell you, yep. they're always trying to cut the corner and, yep. and just put the lipstick on the piggy yep. and uh, instead of try to actually fix things the right way or upgrade them or enhance them the way you would as the buyer once you've moved in. Perfect. Yeah, I love it. In the next segment, we're going to bring in Melina into the conversation, golf to base staging as well, kind of tie this in together uh, with interior design techniques, staging as well. So we've got a real estate roundtable discussion here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, we're helping helping you win no matter what you're facing out there. we got our top 10 list coming up. We've got our Feel Good Story of the Week as well as our Name That Tune. So stay with us here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, this is Jarek Robbins. You are listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show with Brandon Rimes. Please do what it takes to learn all that you have to to live the life you want to live. Live it fully and find a way to give it by paying it forward to others. Get in touch with Brandon online at ConsumerQB.com. Consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. 
All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rimes here, quarterback show, platinum MVP, realty, former USF football player, played on the inaugural football team at the University of South Florida, and real excited about the Bulls season. we got a great season going so far, and uh, we are quarterbacking transactions for our sellers out there with platinum MVP, realty, uh, longtime quarterback on my sports teams. Now we're quarterbacking introductions to 80-plus show partners that we have on the Consumer Quarterback Show, CPAs, financial advisors, attorneys, uh, so many different ways that we can help you, but we've got to be able to engage. So we want you reaching out at our hotline, 813-670-7372. You used to call me on my cell phone. 813-670-7372 is our Consumer Advocate Hotline. Check out the website, newly redesigned website, ConsumerQB.com. Uh, shout out to Teo Leonard, the web design ninja. You see him sitting there on the left at the website. And the most important thing is our show contributors link right there, and that in the contact form. Submit the contact form. But our so contributor contributors uh, link there, you can see all the expert contributors, their contact information, uh, their show cards with their website, and uh, you know our net worth is our uh, net worth here, and and the network is is so important, and we've got a great team here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. We're going to help you win in any marketplace. Uh, before we jump back into this great content, I want to let you know about a beautiful property, an opportunity I have here on St. Pete Beach uh, with Platinum MVP Realty. It's thirty six ten Casablanca Avenue, St. Pete Beach. It's just north of the Don. Are, uh, and it's just south of the Hotel Zamora, our hotel partner on St. Pete Beach. Three bedrooms, two and one half bath. This is a duplex, a great investment opportunity. Uh, $625,000 just across the street from the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, you walk, walk across the street and you are on the beach. So a great buying opportunity at $625,000 for a duplex on the beach. And in Old Northeast of St. Petersburg, we got a beautiful property here. 215 12th Avenue Northeast, St. Petersburg. This is four bedrooms, five bath, $1.194 million, 3,688 square feet. Pre-construction, prefab uh, property here. It's an opportunity for uh, you to be able to choose the countertops, the cabinets, the appliances, the flooring, and uh, you know, great property here on a SIPS panels construction as well. Very strong, very sturdy construction. Uh, they are compliments of PlatinumMVPRealty.net. Check out Platinum mvp realty.net so we've got a real estate roundtable discussion here today we've got mario larea in the house mi mutual mortgage mortgage expert here in tampa bay can help you with all of your financing uh, we've got jason avery owner of avery construction and author of constructing success and melina mati gulf to bay premier interiors uh, she's a staging and redesign expert interior design expert here uh, in tampa bay so let's go ahead and talk with uh, well jason let, why don't you give us a little lead into how you work with uh, folks like Molina. Well, so right before the break, we gave a tip to the uh, uh, consumer about how to deal with the contractor, get more detail. And right. I, I promised a tip to the the contractor out there, and that is is you know again over communicate. Yeah. And uh, if you if you're going to put a shim behind a cabinet today, and you know that that shim is going to reveal a gap at the end of the run of cabinets, you understand that there's a trim that goes there, but the client doesn't. Right. And so if you fail to explain that today, you're going to give them the, the, the reasons to question everything you're doing throughout the night, lose sleep over it, and it's a very uncomfortable conversation the next day. Right. Take a moment, put a piece of tape where that trim goes that says, install trim here. Right. And, and, and just little things like that, playing like a game of chess, can absolutely enhance the communication. Sure. And... You know, in my company, we have layers of management. I have project managers who, who get between the, the crew and the customer to improve that communication like a liaison. Yeah. If you're dealing with the smaller contractor who's doing the work himself, and uh, you still need that liaison. And that's where you want to definitely call up you know, a, a designer like my friend Melina here. And, uh, um, and, and you need that person to be the transition between the, the, the people physically putting their hands on it and you as the consumer. Yeah. It will absolutely improve the communication of the job. I like that. Yeah. So, Melina, um, welcome to the show. Thank you. Welcome and thank in. You, Jason. Yeah. That was very sweet of you. Yeah. I was kind of chasing my tail the last couple of days. I was actually, I just came back from ICFF Miami, which is the younger brother or the younger sister of the ICFF uh, New York, which is a what is that huge acronym? Form. It stands for the International um, ICFF. It's yes, it's called Brain Fart too. <laughs> uh, it stands for International Commercial and Furniture and Furnishing Association. Basically, nice. it's all the commercial and high end residential. <clears throat> and um, my obviously, my time is not right, but um, 
I was listening to what Jason was saying about the construction industry. And if you are to kind of attack his, you know, his awesome presentation of what he deals with every day, yeah. you probably heard the word emotion. Yeah. Emotion would be probably one in every 50 words. Yes. Right. <laughs> and we are in the business of emotions because right. we're dealing with homeowners um, who, in my particular niche, I stage to sell or I design for dwelling. Right. So whenever you hire me, you there are two completely different domains, but they're mutually important. The reason why you stage is, and everybody will tell you, it's not just because there is a TV show about it. I actually talked to Sabrina Soria last year. She was at the National Convention of Real Estate Staging Association in Vegas. I'm actually the president for the Greater Tampa Bay Staging Association here. And we're talking about the times way back then when staging was like the thing. You right. know, like you're talking about the thing. Oh, I'm going to do this. It looks better kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and what actually the industry is projecting, because I also do foresight, is like think about the industry, real estate and construction and mortgage industry. Think about it 15 years ago or 20 years ago. Inspections were not mandatory. Mm. You didn't have to have an inspection in order to purchase a home. It was a selection base. Wow. Uh, the way the market is going, because it's very competitive, one, because we looking at demographics and that's a totally different conversation, but there is so much that is already built and can be rehabbed. Right. Uh, you're talking about density of population and so on and so forth. So properties will change hands. Right. Obviously. So bottom line is as a homeowner, this is your life savings. This right. is something very important to you. So you create yeah. memories. So when you put your property on the market, and I'm talking about the staging part, when you put a property on the market, it's like, think about selling your car. If you're selling your car, you would get the best detailing guy. Right. You know, you're going to leak the tires and <laughs> you're going to, right. Okay. So how is your home different than your car? Right. Why would you, and you as a real estate professional, yep. why would you put a photo online, which doesn't represent this beautiful home? The best. The best of yeah. it, right? So staging, what staging does is transitions your well-lived in home that you created beautiful lifestyle or memories or whatever you want to call it. Yep. It makes it a showcase for someone to like it. Yeah. And they can buy it. So as a stager, I depersonalize. Right. Important. And it's really hard going back to the emotional attachment, especially when we are doing so there's a couple of times of state a couple of types of staging, occupied staging and vacant staging. And occupied staging is when you live in the house and you and you sell the house. And people believe that they have the best furnishings and the best accessories and the best art. And so we go and we do a walkthrough and we give them advice on what to do and what not to do. And it's like, but do you know, you don't like my furniture. I'm like, I love your furniture. It's not about your furniture. It's about the person that walks through this door. Right. It's You're not selling your furniture. furniture. Yeah. You're selling your home. Right. You're selling an emotional connection. Right. They need to fall in love with your home. And that's why our tagline is first impressions are everything and we yeah. make them unforgettable. And we do because you only have neuroscience. You have between 13 and 15 seconds to make a first impression. Yeah. And the way our brain works, we rely on this first impression about the way we feel. Yeah. And it's really funny because you're talking about a property of a million and a half to a million and a half dollars. Yeah. But you're talking about how do I feel into the property? Right. So how you feel in a space, it's it's tremendous. It's yeah, super important. important. Super Correct. important. If you just joined us, I'm your host, Brandon Ryans. We're talking with Melina Mativ, Gulf to Bay Premier Interiors, uh, staging and redesign expert. And I like what you said, stage to sell, design to dwell. Right. Not and I love the fact that she brought up how the brain works because yeah. in our industry, it is there's so much psychology involved. Yeah, you really wow. have to understand the customer and how they're going to react to certain things. You really have to be two steps ahead of them, like like you're playing a game of chess. That's right. Pre and, uh, you have to stay out in front of them and prepare them for the worst, so that when they get there, it doesn't seem so bad. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And it, um, it's I'm just gonna we're, we're talking about we're just contributing to the same same uh, brain thought here, the same idea. Uh, when you have someone, and you're thinking from, from the standpoint of a, of a seller, right? Right. The seller puts a huge 
a tremendous amount of weight on your shoulders mm-hmm. as their realtor, as, yeah, their, as a listing agent. As a listing agent, it's a huge amount of weight. They don't really understand what it takes and how you feel. Right. right? Against the, because you're the rock star, right? right? You're the one. They're like, you're gonna sell my house and you're gonna make the best amount of money I can. Right. Yep. They don't understand what the what do you need to have? What is your ammo? How yeah. do you need to? If you look on houses online, you do your shopping online first. Right. If a house does not look good online, you don't look gold. See, it. I don't care That's if right. it has good bones. I don't care if it has a perfect location. Yep. If it doesn't look good all online, you don't go. Doesn't there. make the cut. They're going to pick the top five, top seven to go look at. And it's got to have that that first impression. So uh, more from Melina uh, when we come back. More from Jason Avery. Mario Larea as well in the house. Uh, let's give a quick shout out to our restaurant partner, Hula Bay, one of our restaurant partners in beautiful South Tampa. Uh, Hula Bay is a waterfront ambiance. Excellent food. Wide variety on the menu. And they've got great sushi as well. And the, the tuna is shipped in fresh from Hawaii every two days. So one of our restaurant partners, say hello to Hula Bay down at uh, 5210 Tyson Avenue. Make sure you let them know the real estate quarterback sent you for a free water with lemon. They're going to hook you up every time. <laughs> so uh, stay with us. When we t- when we come back, we're jumping into our lightning round. We've got our feel-good story. We've got our top 10 list and our name that tune segment. So we got a lot to cover in this last uh, segment here. So stay with us. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Thanks for listening to my daddy's show. For more information, go to ConsumerQB.com. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7300. 72 online at consumerqb.com. Listening to the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at consumerqb.com. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, published author, professional speaker. Check out our book on Amazon, Become the MVP in Your Industry by Surfing uh, Radio Waves. We're teaching people how to start their own radio show, uh, entrepreneurs how to start their own show, grow their celebrity, grow their sphere of influence by harnessing the power of the media and announcing a new partnership. Just partnered up with Ken Shamrock, uh, Ultimate Fighting Champion, Hall of Famer, and uh, Pride Fighting partnered up with him and Des Woodruff. So check out their podcast, The World's Most Dangerous Podcast. And uh, we're putting together a really cool, uh, exciting new program that we're taking nationwide. So uh, some really good stuff happening. All right, we got our expert contributors here in studio. Mario Larea, MI Mutual Mortgage. He's a local mortgage expert. Um, Jason Avery, Avery Construction, and Melina Mativ, Gulf to Bay Premier Interiors. All right, so you guys ready for our Name That Tune? We got our Name That Tune coming up here. Not that Ladies one. and gentlemen, <laughs> Name That Tune. Name That Tune. I never heard that song before, Brandon. <laughs> no, that's not the one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, so this is, uh, here we go. Eight. 
There it goes. You Five, had seven, it. six, three, oh, nine. Yeah, well, Close that's enough. what I was singing in my head. <laughs> Close enough. We'll give it to you. Uh, Tommy. I guess Tommy is the artist there. Tommy. So, <laughs> Jenny. Jenny, Tommy. All right, here we go. Second one on our Name That Tune. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Erica. One hit wonders side. today. A little bit of Rita's all I need. Hey, well, they were hits. That was a hit, man. He yeah, made it, it up. He made it. They may have made it number one. I don't know. That's the Mambo number five oh, yeah. from Lou Bega. Yeah, that came with a dance and everything, didn't it? Yeah, man. You, see, you know you, your top one hit wonder when you get a dance with it. You, know? <laughs> you get a dance with it. You start getting TV commercials. You start getting the uh, like Who Let the Dogs Out yesterday was one of them. You know, they. I think that was on some TV commercials. You know, you made it. All right, here we go. Here's another one. Sharona, the knack. Oh, said, the knack is the artist. It's my Sharona, I said, I Sharona. Something. <laughs> You're close, hey, though. We're liberal Might sound with like the, a lean cuisine dinner. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're liberal with the points around here. You get points for that one. You got the points on that one. Good job. All right, so yeah, having some fun with you here on the quarterback show, and uh, so that was your uh, name that tune. And we've got our top 10. Let's go ahead and stick with the top 10 here. Let's keep you guys involved. So the top 10. All right, we're going through the largest states by area, not population. All right, let's start with you, Mario. Alaska. Alaska, number one on the list. You got it right. Uh, Alaska is 17, uh, 1.7 million kil kilometers squared. And that's uh, Alaska is by far the largest state in the USA. It's also the largest state by land area and by water area. All right, number two on the list, Jason. Texas. Texas, number yep. two on the list. That's right. 695,000 kilometers. Wow, Alaska's double that, almost triple that. Um, you're up, Melina. You largest got, states. They got the easiest ones. They got <laughs> the, the easiest ones. I know. <laughs> exactly. Um, New Mexico. New Mexico is on the list. Number three or number five on the list is New Mexico, and uh, three uh, three hundred and fourteen thousand kilometers squared. Back uh, to you, California. Number three on the list. Yeah, you got it. California, the Golden State, is the third largest state in the United States. So Arizona. Arizona's up there. Number six, two hundred ninety-five thousand kilometers squared. Melina. Um. It's, the same, up north. it's gotta be the same quadrant. This is all yeah, north. Yeah, so. a lot of it's northwest. They just had a big tragedy out there, might be one of the places. Nevada, you think? Yeah, I think Nevada. So. Yep, Nevada's on the list. Two hundred and eighty-seven. So Two hundred and eighty-six uh kilometers squared. All right, so I'll round it out for you. You got Wyoming is uh number ten, number nine, Oregon, Colorado coming in at eight, number seven, Nevada, number six, Arizona, New Mexico, Montana, California, Texas, Alaska. That's your top ten. Largest states by area, not population. So when they moved into the country, they started with little small states, and as they went across, they started to make they them were like giving bigger. land away. Yeah, <laughs> more dense. I guess it's more densely populated yeah. too. You they look at the lost, East Coast. They lost the interest. In <laughs> well, not many made it out west either, man. They, that was a tough trail. You ever watch yeah. those old movies? Man, I mean, those pioneers—they yeah. had it rough, man. I think we the think train, we have it rough nowadays. That was such a such a dangerous thing to do. No yeah. like an adventure anytime. No air conditioning and no cell phone does not sound like any fun. No. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Drinking water, you know, going going down to the, getting it up out of the thing. Gotta have my whiskey with no ice. There, there you no go. Water. Yeah. We got it. Hey, we live in the best time, that's for sure. You know, we've, uh, yeah, we got it good. That's for sure. All right. We, every week we do a positive story. Tell me something. All right, we got a Vegas shooting survivor says Marine she met at concert saved her life. A young woman who attended the country concert in Las Vegas has shared the her heroic story about a Marine who protected her, protected her when the shooting began to unfold. Uh, and the story's touching hearts of thousands on social media. Renee Cesario says she met Brendan Kelly, an active U.S. Marine, just hours before the concert. Brendan and I met only two hours before the Jason Aldean show. I left my friends so I could go up super close to the front at the end of the night. We were just there dancing, having fun. All of a sudden, there were loud noises, sound like fireworks, but no lights were going off. It stopped, and Jason kept playing, and the shots fired again. He ran off stage. Before I knew I was going on, before what was going on, Brendan tackled me down to the ground, looked, covered me from fire, stopped again, and looked around to see what was happening, and then just kept going. He looked at me and said, we've got to get out of here. We can't stay here. It's not safe. Then he pulled my arm up. And uh, out of the piles of people, had no idea who was dead or alive. We just started to run. He kept telling me it was going to be okay and to keep running we were, until we were safe. He uh, let me use the cell phone to stay in touch with my sister who was safe. Uh, I'll text you when I'll see you. And the whole night he didn't leave my side. Renee's older sister, Jen, told Fox 46 that they're all still in touch. And uh, Brendan Kelly, the epitome of a hero. God was really watching out for my little sister, she said. 
So there's your feel good story of the week. That's and, a tough uh, one to feel good about, but it is. It, it, yeah. Thank God for her and yeah. him, and you know, oh. yeah, tough man. Tra- Real the training tough. probably doesn't. Off the hurt. heels of a tragedy, there are positive lights. That's like right. This. And now there's there's you know heroes and and you know our uh, our resolve will triumph. Yeah, so. same thing with the hurricanes. You know, man, people got wiped out, but you know the good of humanity is coming together, uh, bringing in supplies, flying in supplies like Juan Cantero, You know, catering by the family on the Upwind Flying Club. All right, let's jump into our lightning round. The lightning round. I am so good at lightning rounds. I majored in lightning rounds. All right, top tips, things to do, nuggets of advice, parting words of wisdom. Mario Larea, you're up first. Um, if you have purchased or financed your home within a two years or more and you have mortgage insurance, it's a great time to refinance right now. I have a lot of people that um, have enough equity within the past two years to drop that mortgage insurance and lower the overall mortgage payment. Um, Hop on it while rates are low, while it still makes sense. So it's a good time to look into refinancing if you have mortgage insurance. I like that. Yeah, support the local economy as well. Work with a local lender, Mario Larea, MI Mutual Mortgage, longtime friend of the Consumer Quarterback Show here. Jason Avery. So uh, I heard my uh, good friend Chuck Peterson from Suncoast Roofing on your program the other day, and he was talking about uh, you know hiring licensed contractors. Um, when I went to the monthly meeting um, last week for Construction Partners of Tampa Bay, we actually had a guest speaker who was the detective for Hillsborough County Sheriff who is in charge of their uh, construction fraud division. Mm. And uh, it's, it's two men over there with their full time devoted towards, you know, catching unlicensed contracting going on. Right. And uh, it was interesting that their department uh, was founded about six years ago. And uh, in the first year, you know, it was a new concept. Nobody knew what they were looking for, or how to prove the case. And so they um, were only catching a hundred of these people throughout the year. In uh, the most recent statistic over the last three months, they've caught almost a hundred people. And they say that numbers on the rise due to the hurricane. Uh, the keyword Good. keywords to look out for, and uh, somebody says they're a handyman. Mm-hmm. There's no such license as a handyman. Mm-hmm. You, know, you need to be licensed in a particular trade. And, uh, and and those who come out and say that they are a licensed subcontractor, well, there's right. no such thing. Right. And, uh, uh, you, you have your licensed contractors and in various trades. No, so, no, so, no licensed subcontractors. Check, check come, on, come, come on, come man. Come on, man. I say, tell them this to you. All right. And <laughs> so, Melina. Okay. So, uh, number one. Do your math when you're selling your home, talking about selling. Yeah. Go to my website, golftobaypremierinteriors.com. Okay. Scroll down, there is a staging calculator. When you click on the link, there is a screen that pops up where everyone can input their values of monthly rent, carrying costs. There is a formula that is already uh, set into this interactive website, yep. which actually takes in consideration the statistics of how long it takes for a home to sell yeah to stage, days on market and yeah. when it's not staged put your numbers click find out button you'll find out what it's going to cost you not to stage yeah it's an investment in your home it's not an expense right an investment in it's an investment in selling your property yeah the same way you pay your insurance the same way you pay your loan guys it's an investment into the property that's right, because the the more that you're going to be, you know, putting that again, that first that first impression, you're investing into some marketing. Maybe look at it as a marketing expense for the home. Um, but yeah, so so Molina Mativ, Golf to Bay Premier Interiors, uh, staging and, and redesign expert can help you maximize. And the and the the statistics are overwhelming, um, overwhelmingly positive when you look at investing a little bit of money to stage the home and the amount that you get back out, the reduced days on the market, the higher sales price. So I want to thank all of our experts contributors Mario Larea, MI Mutual Mortgage, Jason Avery, Avery Construction, and and author of Constructing Success, Malina Mativ, Gulf to Bay Premier Interiors, and all of you uh, for listening to the show, John Gaston, WeBeam TV, 10 a.m. daily, and uh, please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness, something as simple as packing up leftover food you may have, carrying it with you to and from your commute to work, and handing it to that person in need. Be a force for good in the community, and we'll we'll see you next time here on the Consumer Quarterback Show consumerqb.com you've been listening to the consumer quarterback brandon rhymes whether it's real estate consumer or financial advice let brandon call your next play contact brandon rhymes at 813-670-7372 that's 813-670-7372